Hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this time it is on the Blabaxon Carriage Arrival at Hogwarts. So on the front of the box you see the usual border, LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, picture of it coming on down, in, and picture of how it can fold out and all, and Wizarding World logo, the mini things included. Recommended ages 8 and up, set number 75958, has 530 pieces. And on the back, you see it unfolded and how to do it, and some other shots of it. Lego.com. And on to the instruction manual, of which same picture is on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then the pieces that come with the set. And then so it's after Lego Life and the last steps. So now on to the mini figures. And the first of which is Fleur Delacour, of which torso like prints or torso print of which exclusive to this set. And also of which using dual molded like print like piece or legs of which works good. And her back torso print of which also done good. You can see the same face print as in the Tri Wizard Challenge and Clock Tower. Or I think it was different in Clock Tower of course. But it, oh, what's exclusive to this is this really nice uh, hair hat combo piece. Which I think can also be used with some custom figs outside the set of course. And of course, holding a dark tan wand, of course. Oh, whoops. And next to it is Gabrielle Delacour, uh, Fleur's sister. You can see identical torso print, but using the short legs, of course, and holding a letter piece. And, and same hair hat combo piece, of course, and but different face print. And, and the interesting thing with the double side face is it's a sleeping face. Which gives me and some a little bit of hope that in the next couple years they get to do a new Mer People set as suiting to this movie. And next to which is Madame Maxon. Which is quite different, different version than in the Clock Tower set. And well, although I think they could have used the like uh, penguin collar piece for the torso, although I think all of the hair would have wouldn't work with that. But besides that, good use of this long slope make her extra tall than most figs. Of which perfectly suiting to her. And her, her double sided face, of course. And all overall, quite a good one. And lastly is Hagrid, of which the most recent update versions. And of course, a lot better than the like uh, 2001 through 10 versions. A little smaller and everything. But of course, the prints are which exclusive to this set. and Lord is holding the two like panel pieces which to help guide it down of course. And the hair beard hair beard piece which also exclusive. Or also found and the face piece also found in some of the other sets like Hagrid's Hut from this wave and whatnot. And not much from the back, but also that the legs are actual mini legs, of course. And also the hands regular mini thick hands rather than being fingered like the older versions. And that is about it with that. And now on to the carriage itself. Oh which a very nice, very good build. Like for the front part of which which I can easily detach them, which are just two pegasi, which 
most of which is the white horse piece that we have seen in the 2013 Low Ranger line. But luckily, headpiece of which is nicely fixed up, unlike the ones in that one. And of course, wing pieces, which are identical to that of the Fantastic Beasts sets from a couple years ago. But also, what I kind of don't get is why only two of which, but in the movie, it, there's like six, eight of it pulling it. But although that would have like bumped up the price of the set a lot more. But at least this kind is fair, but you although you can get some more on Bricklink and make that up if you want to. Although, when it's uh, they're attached to this carriage, it kind of slopes down and all. Although, you can, I, I have a solution where you can like put a couple of long plates underneath that and keep it straight if you want to hang off your shelf or whatever. So for the carriage itself, it was like, nicely built, like some of those like bracketed pieces, making it give the more angular look. And well, the overall color scheme that seems to work well, see, of like light blue, dark red, dark tan, and gold, and with a slight bit of black underneath it. Of which, just like with the Fantastic Beasts carriage set, where it has this uh, little ball thing underneath it. Not sure why, but whatever. You can see you have the two different kind of uh, carriage wheels in both sizes. And they uh, roll quite well. And for, you see, good use of the Nexo Knights shield pieces with these like sticker printers, the same with the slopes above and on the back part, which does have a little chest that has a few teacup pieces, that which has a few of the newer teacup pieces, of course. You can get a few of the lantern pieces in gold, which you can use for box and stuff. Whereas there's the roof part, which has a few of the like dark red jagged slopes and the dome pieces above. Also, good use of these gold window pieces, of course. You see, you have a jumper or in tan above that, where you can put Madame Maxim onto, of course. But also, the main feature is you can lift the roof part up and lift this side of it right up and have it open. And for the inside of which, first level of which does have this little panel or these like tape or this open space with which is all tiles. Wish there could be a few studs to like fit this table and your two mini figs onto a course. And then for the upper area of which does have of which has kind of the same thing going for it. And also, as you can see, a couple of cylinders representing lamps, of course. Or lanterns, actually, I should say. And also a little drawer unit, which, of course, kind of common. And you wonder what this little upside-down tile is for, is so it, it can fit the roof part on top of it. So it's nicely open. Let me close it right up. And so now I can connect to it and fly off to the Triwizard Challenge, of course. And so now on to with the final verdict on this one. So overall, this I think a pretty good set, of which, of which, coming from Goblet of Fire, which we don't get many sets from, but maybe they'll now do some more eventually. Like do get both of the Delacour sisters, of course, and although I wish they could have done some more 
added some more horses and also make it like double leveled and fully enclosed but that would have bumped the price up a lot more but it this way is well forgiven and I think it's quite good for what it is of like opening up and unfolding and things and yeah and if you're looking to get this set for your collection then definitely go ahead and get it and if you want it add it to your Triwizard Challenge mock, then also go ahead and get it. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.